Welcome to the workshop on Music Circles. Here you will learn how to plan and deliver a successful music circle in an early childhood setting. We'll also discuss some important strategies for integrating children with special needs into your Music Circle program. This workshop is geared primarily to early childhood educators, but parents may find some of the ideas useful when using music at home. Materials for this workshop was developed by a team from Early Childhood Services at Community Living Toronto and is published in a wonderful manual called Musical Notes and Beyond, Songs, Theories and Strategies for Creative Music Circles. Music is a universal language, understood and loved by all. As infants, children respond to and enjoy rhythm and tone. Music influences language development as it crosses all barriers. Even those individuals with profound physical or cognitive disabilities respond to the language of music. As a teaching tool, music can be incredibly powerful. It gives children the opportunity to be close to others, creating a common bond. It can provide the foundation for building strong social skills, such as taking turns or the sharing and expression of feelings. This workshop will provide you with some basic tools and strategies to help all children become active participants in music circles. A common but problematic approach to music circles is that they are often thrown in anywhere during the day as a break. A better strategy is to give just as much thought and care to circles as you do the rest of the daily program. Planning involves deciding when in the day to do circles, as well as choosing the actual songs to be sung. Music circles should be done when children and staff are fresh and alert. By choosing the right time and place, circles will become a magical time that everyone looks forward to. It becomes a part of the program in its own right, rather than a transitional holding time. Define the area for music circle by marking it with individual mats for sitting. Pieces of carpet or plastic place mats with children's name on them work well. Not only is a circle clear, but it helps establish personal boundaries between children and adult participants. Sometimes another play area in the room needs to do double duty as a music circle area. Remove distractions by rolling toy shelves out of the way or tidying all toys into bins. Locate the circle away from fla traffic flow areas as that too is distracting. Establish clear roles for staff. A minimum of two staff is required to conduct a successful music circle. Designate one as a group leader and one or more to support children. Remember that singing skills should not be a criteria for staff to do music circle. The songs you choose, their pacing, and the overall structure of the music circle need to be carefully considered. Don't be afraid to repeat songs a lot. Children need time to master words and actions. Have a small pool of songs, maybe 10 altogether, from month to month. One or two of these songs can support aspects of your curriculum, such as colors and counting. Keep things organized by making a music box with props, words to songs, visual cues, and picture symbols. You'll learn more about these later in the workshop. Separate any musical instruments from this box as they may not be used each time. Music circles invite children to have fun together while singing and acting out words to songs. Sometimes children get carried away with the excitement of the singing. It is important for you to identify the parameters of acceptable behavior for the children and yourselves. Once you have done this, make sure the children know what acceptable behavior is. In order to facilitate the desired behaviors, it may be helpful to set up a rule board with no more than three rules stated in a positive manner. These will probably include something such as sit on mat, hands in lap, and have fun. Review the music circle rules every day at the beginning so everyone is clear on the expectations. How you pace your music circle with a combination of fast-paced action songs and quiet songs will greatly influence how children respond. Allow time for children to res respond and act, especially with actions. Having the additional staff available to provide support for those children who need it is valuable, as it will enable you to deliver a smoother circle. Everyone should be able to participate. Keep things simple and fun and use strategies that let all children have a turn. One idea is to have a name bag. Each child's name is placed inside the bag and when it is someone's turn, a name is picked from the bag. It may take a few circles to get through all the names. Allow children to make choices as much as possible. Being able to choose makes a child feel valued and builds on self-esteem. Choices may be physical, such as choosing between picture symbols or between props. A child might also choose the actual song to be sung. Remember to be flexible. Things don't always go as planned. 
Using visual supports and props add greatly to the impact of a music circle. A visual support is anything we see that helps us with communication by giving us information with our eyes. Visuals include puppets, photographs, picture symbols, or objects that represent a song. Visuals will help children to focus, understand, and participate in the activity. Always include a printed word with a visual as you name it. Physical props such as finger and hand puppets really liven up a song and hold children's attention. They can help explain a song. An example of this is a hand puppet of a big spider. While singing the song Incy Wincy Spider, the hand puppet can demonstrate the song by climbing up someone's arm. When singing the bubble song, wave a wand with bubble solutions as you sing. A toy bus will help when singing wheels on the bus. If you sense that children need to get up and participate more physically, then consider lining chairs behind each other as you sing wheels on the bus. Fidget toys are a great way to keep busy, active children quietly seated. These toys should be small and make no noise. Some children may be able to focus if their hands are busy squeezing or twirling the toy. All children should be given these in the beginning and you will probably find that only those children who really need this assistance will continue to hold them. Examples of these toys include soft ponytail elastics, finger rattles with the rattle removed, and small animals. In any childcare setting, there will be a number of children who will require special attention. Some may already have a diagnosis or intervention plans, while others may not. The truth is that all children are individuals and need special consideration. This section of the workshop will look at some of the accommodations you may need to make for certain children. General things such as giving directions, seating, and the use of props will be covered first. Then the focus will turn to specific special needs such as hearing, visual, or physical impairments, and autism spectrum disorder and developmental delays. Giving instructions to many children will be facilitated by the proven strategies in our Giving Instructions workshop, and we highly recommend you review and adopt them. When giving an instruction, ensure that you have the child's attention. Get down on his level, communicate instructions clearly using brief, simple language, and when appropriate, use objects or pictures to support understanding. State the request one time and wait to the count of 10. If the child does not respond, repeat after 10 seconds and provide assistance as needed. Expect follow through and always use praise. Follow the strategies in the Giving Instructions Workshop consistently will help all children learn expectations and respond in a positive way. Plan the seating arrangements by using mats to establish boundaries. Pair children who have trouble following actions of songs with peers who are strong in this area. On occasion, a child will need additional assistance such as sitting beside the teacher who is assisting or sitting directly across from you. If a specific child has difficulty sitting in circle, begin with a song that child likes to sing. Or if he has difficulty staying in a circle even for one or two songs, begin with the child's favorite song. Make it an active song by standing up to sing. If the child continues to have difficulty with staying, let him leave the circle. However, try to build on the length of time he stays in circle each time through the use of reinforcements. You can learn more by watching the reinforcement workshop, the companion to giving instructions. Here are some strategies to try with a child who has a hearing impairment. Be sure he can see your face and gestures. Let the child feel the drum or musical instruments. Incorporate signs, gestures, movements, and picture symbols. For a child with a visual impairment, use physical until verbal prompts can be followed. Holding hands with a child partner may be helpful. Use large format, high contrast picture symbols. A child with a physical impairment can be encouraged to participate as much as possible. Consider the following ideas when adapting for a child with a physical impairment. Use support such as adaptive seating or seating props to help the child sit comfortably. For active songs, plan to use a stroller or rolling chair to support the child's participation. For the child with autism spectrum disorder, it is important to set predictable routines for music circle. Have the circle at approximately the same time every day and begin and end it with the same songs. Assess the child's comfort level in the seating arrangements. A small rocking or beanbag chair may help to keep him calm. A child with a developmental delay will respond to many of the same cues suggested earlier. 
seating the child between peers who provide a good role model and encouraging them to assist the child are good strategies. Slowing the words and actions down and repeating the song twice gives children time to organize their response and gives them extra singing practice. Additional strategies may need to be used for those children who are reluctant to join music circle and break from a favorite activity. Use a consistent song to make the transition to circle. Try a visual cue that states, first circle time, then cars. The second activity needs to be a highly desirable one that would be reinforcing for the child. Here is a recap of the steps to consider when delivering a successful music circle. Review music circle rules. Use mats to sit on. Use fidget toys to help keep some children calm. Have all children participate by offering choices. Let children hand out or collect props. Use any adaptations necessary to help children participate. Have one staff lead the music circle while another provides support to individual children. Use props and visual aids as much as possible. This concludes the workshop on music circles. Consider making music circles a more focused and important aspect of your program. All children enjoy music and love to hear sounds and rhythms from different cultures. Remember, above all, to have fun. For more information on music circles, you can find a copy of Musical Notes and Beyond in the Connectability Library. Thanks for coming by.